What is up boys, Kenny KO back with another video. For those of you who aren't following or subscribed already, if you wanna do so and make sure to get every notification about when I make a new video and what's coming next, make sure to hit the notification bell and also subscribe if you aren't already. But let's jump straight to the video. This video guys, I'm making strictly to spread awareness and honesty about being on Instagram, okay? So as you guys can see on my Instagram, on my photos you can see you know they're all definitely touched up and this is what I'm gonna jump into a lot I feel like on Instagram there's a big misconception now because back when people first started on Instagram the big fitness models the big names in the industry um, I'm speaking of you know your Christian Guzman's your um, Scooby your Hodge twins you know, all the big fitness names you think of in the industry started in the game early and why am I making this? Because it's so competitive now, guys. You have to do something that makes you stand out, which is extremely hard because back then, those big fitness stars that I just mentioned were big fish in a small pond is the good analogy for that, okay? So it was very easy for them to get recognized. If I just go to the Discover page here, you're gonna see tons, and I mean tons, thousands upon thousands of pictures of different people doing the same thing. So now you're not the big fish in the small pond, you're gonna be the little fish in the massive ocean because Instagram has grown immensely over the years. And here's that growth I'm talking about here, guys. So like I said back, I believe it started in 2010 or at least this graph goes back to then. You can see that there wasn't very many users, guys. There was about a million users. So that's where I was talking about that big fish in a small pond, it was very limited. Now if you come to the current date in 2017, being September 1st right now, there's 700 million users on Instagram. And just in the last, um, I believe it's half a year is what it looks like here, it's grown 100 million in just that time period. So Instagram has just been growing immensely. And like I said, it was so easy to get noticed when it's 1 million, it's 700 times that now. So you're competing with 700 times what you were initially had you joined Instagram back in 2010. So why am I bringing up all this info though guys? I am bringing up all this info for reasons like this. People are trying to stand out and I think that's why Brad Castleberry has been using his fake weights and you know been gaining all this controversy basically about what he's doing but you know he did what he had to do to stand out. I don't condone it at all. I think it's you know disrespectful. I think it you know it should not be in the fitness industry because it just gives this horrible name and it, it just sets the entirely wrong mindset out there for those who want to get into the industry but he did something original that no one else had really done he started incorporating these fake plates he did what he had to do to get recognition and some stuff apart from the rest of the competition that like i said on this discover page you know is just growing and growing by the day so more and more people coming out um, and then this is going to jump into another thing guys the Photoshop that has been coming along Everyone I feel like nowadays has been using Photoshop and it, it's truly disgusting in a sense because You don't know what is real anymore because some of them are seriously so close that you don't know whether they're photoshopped or not So you think that that might be ideal or possible and it's not actually what they look like in person so I mean lighting, Instagram filters, playing with the structure, the brightness, the contrast on your photos, that is one thing. But I'm going to give you guys some examples. I'm going to show you Devin Physique who kind of got this first, this ball basically rolling at the start of Instagram and got this part exposed. But he blocked me on Instagram so I'm going to have to sign out of my account here, okay? And then I will show you what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so we're on Devin Physique's Instagram now. And he was the king of Photoshop, guys. And I'll show you a couple pictures while I'm talking about. I'll give you an idea of what physique looks like Photoshopped, though. So, you know, good physique. Guys, this isn't real, though. This isn't what he actually looks like, okay? So just bear that in mind for a quick second. And as you guys can see here, this is what I'm talking about. So, you know, you're going to see this picture on the right here on Instagram, guys. And you're gonna think that's his real physique and this is extremely professionally done like I, you wouldn't be able to tell had you not seen these before pictures and this is what his physique actually looks like here on the left guys so a lot of people don't know that this is going around on Instagram and then not to mention people are getting fake followers fake likes um, fake comments 
You know, I've seen people with 400,000 followers on Instagram and they get one comment on their photos. Now that's a huge red flag. If you had 400,000 people following you, they'd be following you for a reason, right? So if they comment, you would think that four, out of 400,000 people, more than one person would be commenting on your photo. But that's a whole nother issue for another time. Here's some more Photoshop by Devin Physique. You can see he definitely messes with the lighting, the tan, the contrast, the structure, and then also photoshops in his waist, pronounces his delts more, and you know overall brings up his chest as well, you can see. So that's going around on Instagram, guys. Now, I'm not going to say everyone does that, but this is what got Devin Physique recognition is to set himself apart from the rest of the competition, like I was talking about on Instagram with the 700 million users currently. Um, let's go to another one, Devin Physique here, known for photoshopping his legs because his legs are tiny as you can see on the left here. His waist basically meshes into his quads, so he had some big orexia, big morphia, whatever the terminology is for that. So he brings his quad sweep out, brings his waist in, and then brings up his upper body a little bit. So that's going around, I'm going to bring up one more example here guys. And then there's Jeff's side guys who was also caught for using Photoshop um, when he was with Chessbra, which is uh, Ziz's older brother, uh, Sage Sergevic, I believe is how you pro uh, professionally say his name. But here was the picture here. I don't know if this is the before. Oh, here he goes. Okay, so before and after, okay? So you can see what they did. You can see uh, Chessbra's neck was down lower. He brought his traps up, his shoulders up. And then Jeff side went all out here and brought up his delts, his arms, his forearms, his traps, uh, his chest. Didn't, doesn't look like he touched the midsection or the legs or anything, but pretty much brought up his whole upper body. So you can see this pulsating back and forth between what the real picture is, the real size, and then brought up with Photoshop. So, like I said guys, the whole reason I'm bringing this all up is just to bring awareness basically to Instagram for those that are either new to Instagram or new in the fitness industry and are seeing and looking up to all these people and thinking that these physiques are attainable either A naturally or B without Photoshop and it's simply not the case I know it's hard to set yourself apart but I want to give you the challenge guys do whatever you can to set yourself apart without basically trying to cheat the system without selling these cookie cutter programs um, based off a of physique that you made on Photoshop. You know, do something either helping people out or giving back to the fitness community, helping people with supplementation or diet, but do it in a way or a manner that really sets you apart. My perfect example for new people in the fitness industry is actually this guy right here, okay? This is Connor Murphy. Where is he at here? Sorry, I'm not logged on. Now, Connor Murphy went viral for one reason, okay? I remember I was following and subscribed to his channel back when he had 10,000 subscribers. And the thing that set him apart was back in the day when Ziz would do his Omegle reaction videos, Connor Murphy kind of took on to the idea no one was really doing it at the time since Ziz had passed away. So Connor Murphy took it upon himself to do it and he went viral for it. And then after that, he started to get into his reaction videos and getting into picking up girls with aesthetics, so on and so on, to where he's at now, for those of you who know who he is. But that was his example. He set himself apart, took a different route, and really identified that he was original and not following the trend of what everyone else is doing. So I thought I'd give you guys a little insight. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe you learned a little bit from it, and aren't trying so hard now to try and get the popularity that everyone's seeking. But I hope you stay shredded, stay aesthetic, signing out.